Hey there, and welcome back to another Thank You Vic tutorial. Let's talk about making the sales page for your community. After creating your community and setting a price for it, it's a good time to start creating your community sales page. For free communities, you should still have a sales page to act as the front door to the space and motivate visitors to join. To get started, from the dashboard, go to Manage Learning Products and then Communities. Edit your community by selecting it. Then in the Community Editor, select Build Landing Page. This will take you to Site Builder, where you can edit your community sales page. From here, you'll see that you get a default page to start with in this preview area. Keep in mind that you can preview this sales page on a phone or on a desktop device to see how things look across devices as you edit. You can also see the actual page in your browser by copying the link to it here and opening it up in a new tab. On the left, you'll see an outline of the page on the first tab. On the other tab, you can edit your whole website's theme settings, things like color, fonts, etc. Editing the theme settings, the header section, or the footer section will change those elements on every page on your Thinkific website. But the sections in between the header and footer can be changed per page. Sections can be dragged and dropped to reorder them. And you can edit a section by selecting it from the outline or by selecting the button that appears when you hover over the section in the preview. Editing a section reveals options for it. You can also delete a section in these settings. To add a new section to the page, there is a button in the outline here. When you make a change to the page, you will be prompted to save the changes. Keep in mind that this will save and publish the changes to the page. You can always discard the changes to reset the page back to when you last saved it. Okay, let's create a sales page for our community now. There's a lot that you can do with your sales page, but the one thing you must do is make sure that there are buttons that let people take action on the page. For example, if your community is free, you'll want a button on the page that lets people start to sign up for it. And if you're charging for access to your community, you'll want a button that leads to the checkout page so that people can pay for access. In this example, we'll be charging for access. We have a subscription price of $20 a month to get access to this community on a month-by-month -month basis. We also have a $200 price point for one year of prepaid access, including a 20% discount. By default, I have a drop-down here in the banner that will enable customers to choose their price point, but I'd rather people choose the month-to-month -month payment first, and then buy the annual subscription later. So I'll edit the banner to add a button. I'll make sure it points people to buy the monthly fee. I'll add some button text. I can style the button. And while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and add a new banner image. I'll just make some final adjustments to this section now. And then I'll go ahead and save the page. So I have a way for people to choose the month to month option, but now I don't have any way to choose my annual plan option, so I'll need to add that to the page as well. I'll add a new section here that adds all the prices for this product automatically for me. Then I'll edit that section and change some of the text on the page. I'll go ahead and save the page, and we're good to go. We have a sales page for our community.